You too. Hey, today, man, we keep it real simple. I'm about to show y'all how to make a hard beat with two sounds. Yes, two sounds, man. I'm about to put y'all on game. I'm about to give y'all a couple of tips to show y'all how y'all can really get that bounce, get that hard, uh, just hard banging beat with just simply two melodies, bro. Two melodies. So we're about to get into that thing, man. A couple of announcements real quick. My boy just dropped an album today. I produced the whole thing. So I'm going to definitely need y'all to check that out for me, man. Buddha B, this is not a dream. All platforms, man. Y'all got to check that out for me. Also, I've been thinking lately, man. I think I want to drop a free little drum kit for y'all, man. For the subscribers that's here with me already, man. For the people to come. I think I want to drop a little free drum kit. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the in the uh, comments, man. For real. Like, i really been contemplating a little loot kit. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all want, man. Let me know what y'all want. But, hey, without further ado, let's get into this kit. Oh. All right, man. See, so I already know where we at with it. We in FL. We at 129 BPM. Let's break this thing down, man. So, the first thing we got here is this sound from Analog Lab. So, a little explanation man since we only using two sounds in this beat what we're looking for is something that's gonna a real full sound you know we're looking for something that's gonna fill up a lot of the frequencies that we're looking for so we need something with a little bass some mids and some highs so that's why i went with this arp um it also has like a combination of some strings in it as well so depending on like you see what i'm saying it has this bass here has these strings so you know what i'm saying it's filling the whole spectrum so because we're only using two sounds that's what we're looking for so this is the pattern we have as you can see here it's just a simple triad come on on this second triad here we just raise this top note up one semitone on this half step so from an e to the f on this triad we just moved up to the next two set of half steps at the top there so we're going off this C and this B. So if I move this down an octave, you'll see it just lines up there. I just pulled it up an octave and we went to that B. So this is what the melody sounds like. Real simple, man, nothing too crazy. This last chord here, we extended it so it has a little bit more of a bounce to it. So real simple, man, let's get to the next sound. All right, so our next sound, we got Keyscape on the hard preset, LA Custom C7. And what we have here is very, very simple. Uh, we have the root notes of the melody here. And then on the top of that, we have this top melody. Um, we're just on the half steps. And then what I did here with this part of the melody, I duplicated it. If you hold shift and click, It'll duplicate. And then I press Alt Y to flip it horizontally. And then that's pretty much just this melody on this side. Just flip the melody, change a few notes around, and then just repeat the same part here again. Very, very simple, man. So this is what that sounds like. It really don't get too much more simple than that. So those are our only two sounds. So now we're going to see what the melody sound like as, as a whole. All right, so this is our whole melody. Very simple, man. We don't even have any effects on the uh, melody here at all. That's, <laughs> that's too simple. So now we just gotta put some banging drums on there, man. So let's get into these drums. Boom. All right, so I guess if you if you count drums and sounds, this is more than two sounds, but come on, I mean like two melodies. So um, 
Yeah, man, we got a simple clap snare. You know the rules. Nothing crazy here. Boy, them hoes is loud, though. Hold up. Let's turn that down, though. Yeah. Very simple, man. And then we have the hi-hat. Now, on the hi-hats, I have this looperator with uh, the little six roll here and then a reverse roll. So I'll actually play this with the melody. <laughs> So simple, so simple. So then we have these open hats. Very simple, man. We're not doing anything too crazy. And then the 808. Now, with the 808, this is a little trick I, I like to do. When possible, and usually this is gonna be on notes like A, or B, sometimes G. But those are the notes that when you go down here with them low, like A4, they still sound good. When you go high, they don't sound too high either. So when I'm in a situation like that where I'm either on A, B, sometimes G, depends on the 808, I like to, uh, you know, start out high and go low on the second half of the melody, or vice versa sometimes i'll start out low and go up high on the second half so this is what that sounds like now you're probably saying like hey on the second half of that like that was really like low i could barely hear maybe depending on what you're listening to this through so what I do as well is I throw a kick on the second half of it as well. Just the second half that emphasizes that 808 because you're still going to feel the, the rumble of it. Like if you're in a car or you know, certain speakers, you're still going to feel it. And that kick is just going to really bring it through the mix so that you're really hearing it as well. So this is what that sounds like with the kick. So simple, but so hard. how you make a simple beat with just two sounds and a melody man all right y'all man i just wanted to get something done for y'all man because i ain't gonna lie i've been super busy this week man i got a house warmer coming up i just moved into this crib you know what i'm saying a real nice spot but yeah man i just wanted to get something done for y'all because i, I want to make sure i keep dropping videos man monday mondays and fridays i want to keep the consistency up so yeah man i thought this would be a real interesting idea though you know what I'm saying just two sounds don't really see a lot of people doing things like that so that's how you get a little bouncy hard beat which is simply two melodies man so yeah like i stated earlier in the video i am thinking about dropping a drum kit or a loop kit man y'all let me know which one y'all want first i'm gonna do both but y'all let me know what y'all want first man because that's what's most important to me um and also yeah also my boy dropped the tape man y'all gotta check it out for me please i would appreciate it so much i would appreciate that so much man like i said i produced the whole album we went crazy. We got visuals out there, man. I'm going to drop all the links in the bio so y'all can check that out for us, man. But, hey, man, if you learned something from this little quick video, drop me a like. Drop me a subscribe, man. Until the next one, we out. Peace.